There's a lot to get to here. We had uh, not a lot of activity over the weekend when I was working earlier, but ever since then, it's changed in the tropics. We've got three active disturbances right now, two of which have a high chance of development. And depending on which area develops first, that will dictate what gets the name Ida and what gets the name Julian. Those are the next two names on our list. So we'll be watching both of them really closely, especially the one that's in the Caribbean right now, because this has a 90% chance of development already starting to come kind of get a swirl on satellite imagery, and it is tracking up to the northwest. So this will eventually enter the Gulf of Mexico later this weekend. And there is a good chance that it will develop pretty fast, considering how warm the ocean temperatures are right now. So any ocean temperature that's usually around 80 degrees or higher, that supports tropical development. Right now, running around 85, even 86 degrees in some spots. So our forecast models have this area of low pressure likely strengthening into a pretty big storm later this week. It'll pass uh, northwest of Cuba just uh, sometime during the day tomorrow. And then as it moves into the Gulf, that's when it will start intensifying this big blob of moisture, for lack of a better word. It'll start consolidating. And now the exact track is still kind of to be determined. It, you know, it's still kind of far out to say where exactly this will make landfall. But most of our guidance is kind of honing in on Louisiana. Of course, we'll pinpoint that as we get closer. But this could, considering the warm ocean temperatures, where it'll be moving, this could become a strong hurricane. So we're going to be keeping a really close eye on it heading into the weekend. Our forecast future wind speeds, again, have that bullseye kind of near south Louisiana. And most of the impacts that we could potentially see would be around Monday, Tuesday, with the bands of heavy rain that come in from this potential storm here in central Alabama. So certainly something that we need to consider. The potential is there for a Gulf hurricane. Here are the main takeaways. It'll likely be a fast-paced storm with potential landfall either Sunday evening or Monday. And of course, the exact track and intensity that'll be ironed out over the weekend as we get closer in time to the storm making landfall. So